Hi, I'm Birgit O'Connor, and today I thought it would be a lot of fun to just bring you into the studio, into a live meeting, so you can get an idea of what our demonstrations are like. Now, this particular demonstration is from our desert landscape course, and it'll give you just enough of an idea that you can take it and develop your own paintings, or if you'd like to see the full demonstration, you can either join the course or buy it as a premium download. So I hope you join me, and let's have some fun. All right, so looking at the photograph here, I have my um, line drawing underneath here. I just, and what I really wanted to focus on for the line drawing is just to get an idea of where the clouds are, where the um, hills are, my cactus, and my path. I want to try to use the colors that I have in here. I think that would be fine. This is French ultramarine blue. Just add it. If you want really clean color, you could uh, clean your wells out and you could be way more careful than I am, but I never, that's just not how I paint. What, what my plan was is to use everything that you have already done in that first section and try to take it into something uh, like, it would be perhaps like your own um, painting. You know, how would you approach it? And this is the dissection of that. So I'm just testing a little bit, just a darker blue. All right, we have a little bloom in here. That's kind of fun. Cactus color down here. It's crawling, but that's okay. We'll work with that in just a second. Starting at the top, working my way down. And then we start running into our cactus here. So here I've got my greens. Like that. Oops. And let's soften this edge because I'm focusing on this area. If I leave it alone, those areas are going to dry. So to give me some time, I'm just going to soften those edges because I wanted to focus on this. And I could even use my number 30 brush. I just don't want to release any more water. I just want to soften. And that little crawl that's happening back here, that's okay. We can end up using that as a cloud. So if I do wet into wet here, I'm going to add more water that can crawl up there and continue to move, which I don't want. I think that's yellow ochre right in here. So I'm going to just bring it in. I don't want it to be so red. You could have it red if you're going to be it in Sedona. We could make it a Sedona path. But I want to tone it down a little bit. I'm going to take my French ultramarine blue bring it in here, and even if it gets that um, granular effect through there, that'll be fine. I'll take a little cobalt blue, bring it in there. I'm looking for more of that sandy color right through there. Or I could add more water, drop it in there. And I'm looking at the dirt heads over in this direction, maybe just drop in a little bit over here. So I'm starting to think more about the wet into wet as we go. So here's my path, but this is a 20. And if you're looking at the photograph and then try, you could be, like I said, more exact. Clean off my brush. And then I'll soften a few of these edges here and there. And then I'm going along the bottom of some of these here. Now I want enough water in here so it can crawl and mingle if it's too thick, then it's going to look uh, heavy. And all that water is, it's still um, touching some of that area and blending together. That will need to dry before I really do anything else. Let's add a little texture into those bushes up here. Okay. And then I've got some shadows right underneath here and here on this side and right through here and it casts over there. So I'm using my number 14 blend brush. Is that going to be too big? We'll see. I could go down to my number 8, but if I do that, then I could easily get um, comfortable wanting to draw too much. I'm trying to allow the tip of my brush just to create the shapes. And it could have been nice if it was maybe a little more blue. That I like the bluish cast more. And we could add a few more back there. We've got a lot of white space in between. So before I get into that, 
do I want to think about adding um, other details here? Do I yeah, I love the fact that you're doing these demos because it's so helpful to me to just hear how you're processing as you're painting. Mm -hmm. Thank um, you. And I just, I don't know, I, I just think it's so courageous to do a demo in front of people that I, I just love that you're doing this. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, I'll tell you, you know, when I was doing, um, when I do live demos in organizations, I usually am, I don't do it this way. And I thought, oh, you know, this, this, this can work. And how I usually do is I, because you have just a short, a short period of time, well, it's it's an hour, an hour and a half, two hours. Oops, sorry, I'm just trying to get comfortable here. That I usually, and it's usually the florals, so I have things in steps. That still, that still needs to have more work on that, and I would work with the shadows. I would take more time at being more fiddling around with it. This is okay, let's try to get a little more... Um, I, want, I want something in here, you know. I'm going to lift a little bit of that color out there. I really didn't know how this was going to turn out. You know, there it, because I think it can look very much like blobs everywhere, and then the sky needs to be developed so it can be like that. I use the, I use the cobalt blue just because of the atmospheric conditions in there. And because I, I want those to stand out more. I would like to get more of that sky in there. This is what I'm, I'm just going to do it. So, so say goodbye to this. <laughs> and then I'm going to come back in with a French ultramarine blue. And let's see, I'm going to get a little burnt sienna into that. And I'm not saying that this is going to work. I knew that this had an awful lot going on. But I think that it's still a benefit for you to see how in the world I'd be at least thinking about it. Let's see. I'm going to glaze over these clouds so they so I tone them down a little bit. Uh, I just want to say that there was a person earlier that said she you know, like to see your whole thought process. Oh, she and got so it. Many times, you know, when you go and watch an artist demo, they've done that same arrangement a hundred times, and so they've got it down perfectly. It's interesting to me to see you work it out in your mind. I know you feel <laughs> like you're, you know, floundering, and you don't want to do that in front of people, but it it, it really helps me. I don't know, like, see your whole thought process. Well, you know, thank you. you. Go, well. So, I mean, I feel fortunate to be able to do a, dem a live demonstration for you and that you all are sticking around. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop because now I'm getting fussy. And I could do more in the sky. Okay, that's our reference photo. And that's where we are. I could go darker in that sky. That would be just a little more detail. See? But this way we see the cactus more. So what do you think? Are we good to stop on that point? Beautiful. I'm thinking I might add a little more. But then again, like I'm thinking in the sky. So I, you know, okay. So I think that this is a, a, a real good moment for, for you to look at this too. Like here I'm thinking, oh, do I want to add more to the sky? I like this now. I like how that stands out. Um, do I want to do any more? Okay, stop. Just completely stop, step away from the painting, and then evaluate. Go get a cup of tea and then come back.